craftism. On occasions when working to a brief, the artists should twist the given briefs to suit themselves, remaining true to their own personal style, but still delivering art that fits to the brief. On occasions where this does not fit, the artist should perhaps move on to a new brief altogether, one which actually excites them, or temporarily detaches her or his self from the project while doing it, yet still striving for an above average outcome. The artist is, cri is critical of their own work, but only because they strive for perfection, and because of this they are resilient, pushing themselves only to stop when they alone are completely happy, if not ecstatic, with the outcome. They do not like to be rushed, but can appreciate the mindless quick doodles and scribbles which sometimes occur, and on rare occasions allowing these to become art in their own right, without the need of further tweaking. The only rule for choice of medium is that you as an artist only use what you feel like at that moment in time. The medium may change by the minute or by the years. There is no fixed or regulated time, it remains a personal, flexible choice. Inspiration should only be found in areas where the artist has a genuine interest or curiosity, otherwise the heart will not be in it, and imagination and the endeavour for personal excellence always follow the heart. Craft and creativity is just as important as the concept of art, but art doesn't always require a clever idea behind it. Sometimes it's simply the conversation between what inspires she or him as an artist, and how they choose to physically express this. Even when there is an important message to be spoke or story behind it to be told, there is still no excuse for laziness passed off as art. Art doesn't necessarily need to be all airy fairy pretty, but craft, skill and creativity should not be overlooked. There is no reason why the umbrella of art and design, including crafts, fine art, the fashion and textile industry, graphics and photography, should not overlap and influence each other to go on to create marvellous things. Each one is of equal importance, as no area within the arts world is superior regardless of what some critics, theorists and apparent intellectuals may say. We should make art that excites us creatively, artistically and as people simply communicating their thoughts. The enjoyment should be throughout the making process, through to the outcome, which should always be on some level interesting, intriguing and beautiful to the artist. Create to please ourselves and if it goes on to please others then that's an additional bonus. Thank you.